Hello, everybody. Welcome to my quick class. This is Brenda Miller. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Basking Ridge, New Jersey in the United States. And I go live every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time uh, to show you a new card, hopefully teach you some tricks on how to make the card, and also to give you some Stampin' Up! news. So um, without uh, dragging things on today, um, I just want to welcome you and let you know that tomorrow, which is Thursday, December 15th, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping all day on any orders that are $75 or more. It's a great time to stock up on any of your basic supplies. Uh, do note that orders will not be received in time for Christmas. However, you can get a head start on getting ready for uh, your card making, hopefully crafting opportunities in early next year. Um, you know, white paper, basic white paper, um, envelopes, restock your envelopes because you probably used up almost all of them from um, your Christmas cards. So uh, just something to look forward to. You can start your your order now and those of you who are demonstrators uh, out there note that you can also be pre-ordering and pre-earning your celebration and new catalog um, supplies so it's a great time to get what you need to get started and uh, just make sure that you take advantage of it you can shop at my uh, store at brendamiller.stampinup.net. Hey, Carol, welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, so just, uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can email me, you can DM me, whatever makes sense for you. So what I wanted to share with you today is uh, a new uh, sneak peek, not, well, I've shared parts of it before, but I wanted to show you a closer look at the Petal Park Bundle, which is going to be in the 2023 um, mini catalog that's launching January 5th. And if you don't have a catalog, please reach out to me and let me know. If you're in the United States, I'm happy to send one out to you, so please contact me. But um, let's take a look at what's in this bundle. So let me switch over here and show you. So this is the Petal Park Bundle, and it uh, has a punch and also a stamp set that coordinates with the punch, which is always fun. And I have a whole box full of new stuff, and I know that I showed it to you uh, in the last week and the week before of some of the new things that I've gotten, and I had to put aside my... Uh, Christmas cards because I, I just had to use something new. I needed to do something fun and new, and this is what I pulled out and I decided to start with. So it, this bundle, um, the cost of the bundle itself is $37.75, um, which is, you know, pretty much standard price whenever you get uh, multiple stamps and the the punch that goes with it. So it's a very reasonable price. And again, it won't be available until January 5th, but um, you know that it's coming and it's sometimes fun to see something new. Uh, I also wanted to show you the coordinating designer series paper. And we looked at that very briefly previously. Oops, right here, sorry. And I just wanted to pull out, uh, pull out the papers even further. So I just adore all the different designs. I love flowers. You know, a lot of people ask, why do we have so many flowers all the time? And the reason they will tell you uh, straight out is because um, that's what people want. That's what people purchase. So no matter how many flowers they put out there, people are buying them. And I have to admit, I'm one of those people who just <laughs> keeps buying them. So here you see various designs. I love that they use the papers have different colors of the flowers on them. Um, it uses uh, the basic oops, colors. So here, I can read that to you while we go. The basic colors are balmy blue. And uh, let's see, melon, I'm sorry, mango melody, night of navy, petal pink, shaded spruce, and sweet sorbet. So, hey, Stella, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is some of the fun DSP. All the flowers are just wonderful. 
such bright colors. I love that they use the Mango Melody as the yellow. Um, I usually think of Mango Melody as being very orange, but it really is a very nice yellow to use. And we'll use that today. And so look at these teeny tiny little flowers. And so you can just uh, keep flipping through. So you get four sheets of each. These are six by six. And these are teeny tiny little flowers again. And then we'll, we're gonna do the same thing and flip it over, right? Cause all our paper is double sided. And so there are 48, oops, ah, sorry about that. 48 sheets. And then we have some basic designs. Oh my goodness, stripes, which are always great. We've got some nice, uh, more, um, less contrasting uh, patterns so that they make for great backgrounds so they don't take away from your focal point. Some more little flowers. I love the greens that they use. Some more polka dots. And this actually shows a design that is mimicked in the embossing folder that goes in this same suite. Uh, we can talk about that another time, but that's the cane embossing folder, so that paper mimics it. And here's some nice navies. Always good to have some navies in your repertoire. Some more stripes. We can always go back if you want. Here's some more of that cane paper. So you see the design there. It's flat. It's not textured like the embossing folder would do, but um, gives you the same pattern. And then some more dots and polka dots. So that's the designer series paper. And I know that in the past I've just flipped through, but it's always fun to see all the different designs. Now the card I'm gonna show you today can be used with any of these papers. And you just change the color combination and you have a beautiful card every time. So the card that we're going that I'm going to make is this one here. So you see that it uses the designer series paper, and this is the one that was right on top. And it also uses the reverse side, which is the stripes. Now I didn't have to make it use the reverse side. As a matter of fact, when I do classes and such, I usually don't because I need all the paper, but for the sake of this class and because it's so pretty, um, I went ahead and put these two together. Okay. And all I did, you know, was put another piece of paper. We could have put ribbon there, but I wanted to keep this card simple because I wanted to focus really on the flowers and uh, some and the DSP. So let's see how we did that. Um, here's a our first tip of the day is um, I'm using our paper cutter and our paper cutter comes with a scoring blade as well. You'll see to show it to you. I only have so much space on my desktop here, but here we have the scoring bone is the lighter, um, the scoring blade is the lighter one, and the darker one is the uh, cutting blade, and I have something here, so let me get rid of that. And what I did is I took a piece of standard size cardstock, and I cut it the long way instead of the short way. So we call this hamburger cut as opposed to hot dog cut. And uh, I want to show you that whenever you cut your paper the long way and you want to fold it in half, you're going to find that when you go to fold it, it doesn't fold smoothly on your own. And a lot of people score their paper anyway, but a lot of times I don't. I'll just usually just fold it and press it down. But you'll find that the paper cracks if you do that when, because you're going against the grain. Okay, so to avoid the cracking when you go against the grain, you just use the um, scoring blade, which of course, this is a user error situation and I can't ever remember what it is that I'm doing wrong, but, uh, but you use your, um, the scoring blade to make the indentation so that when you fold it, you see that score line is there. When you fold it, it folds much more easily. And I folded this one at five and a half. I'm not sure you saw that. So five and a half. So that was trick number one, just something that not everybody knows that that's the reason is that you want to reduce the pressure when going against the grain. Okay. Then I'm going to take um, a scrap of paper. Here we have this one and I'm going to, I decided I wanted to match the flowers that are in the DSP. In order to, in order to do that, you need a lighter blue and a darker blue and then a little bit of that mango melody on the inside. 
Um, so we're going to take our balmy blue ink pad. Hey, Kim Quady, thanks for joining. Um, and we're going to take our our uh, flower stamps. Now take a look at this. They already, I love that they did this. They put all three flower stamps on one stamp. They are connected. You can see here that when you peel it off, it comes off as one big stamp. And the way that they're connected matches the way that you're going to punch them out. So that sometimes you'll, you've seen in some of my videos where I line them up and uh, I cut out a template and then I put them on the block uh, just like this, except that the, when they're not connected. Um, and so now we don't have to do that because they did it for us, thankfully. So what I'm going to do, this is the more solid of the stamps. There are actually two. So we have a solid stamp and a more detailed stamp. And the, I'm going to use the solid one. Hey, Rita, thanks for joining. Um, I'm just going to tap it out and I'm going to stamp off. So on my scratch paper, I'm stamping and then I'm coming to my my regular paper. Now, one thing I want to note is that when I go to punch it out, I want the little one at the top. So there we go. I have my little one at the top. Now I didn't do a very good job stamping off probably because I'm nervous, whatever, but you get the idea. We then take the detail stamp with the same ink pad and we stamp over it. And because they're clear, you can line them up pretty well. Okay, now again, I didn't do such a good job lining them up because I can't get my head over it because my camera's here. But close enough, I'm very happy with it. So here we have those. And now when I go to punch them out, they're all lined up. When I did this the first time, I did not take note that the little one was on top and I had to cut my paper. So it was no big deal, but I just had a little extra. So here I am punching it out and look at this. Here's, here are our perfect little flowers, okay? It also gave me a little leaf, uh, which is at the bottom here. And I'm not gonna actually use the leaf on this card, so we're not gonna talk about that one <laughs> right now. So anyway, here are our adorable little flowers. And we can now assemble our card. It's very simple. I'm just going to take our DSP. Oops. I always like to put white on the inside of my cards if it's if, if the card is at all dark. So for a white or a very pale card, I would not put a piece of white inside, but anytime it's a little darker than that, I just cut it a little bit smaller. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put it in. And usually I have more of a border at the bottom, but oh, no, who's who's watching, right? Who's wondering? <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to take my DSP. Now remember this was we have the stripes on the back and the beautiful flowers on the front. I just, again, I really love them. I'm going to, this is um, three by four. So you get two of these out of each six by six sheet. Okay. And then this is um, the smaller piece. And it was just the bottom of the half sheet that I took here. And that's one and a half by three. And put that at the bottom. And conveniently, we're going to take a strip of uh, white. And I couldn't remember the size, so here we go. Uh, this is just a half inch by four and a four and a quarter. And there's another stamp set in that suite, and it's called Sentimental Park. And this is the one that has all the words on it. You'll notice that the other stamp set just had the flowers. Uh, this has flowers as, as well as words. So I'm going to use the Let's Celebrate because I just think it's a really pretty font. And you'll notice normally I would use my basic black, but my, not my basic black, I'm sorry, my Knight of Navy ink pad, but that's upstairs. It is waiting for a reel that I'm going to be doing. And so rather than upset the apple cart, I just used the Starry Sky, which is a very, which is very close to Knight of Navy. And I just stamped Let's Celebrate right in the middle there. And using regular adhesive, I'm going to glue it down right over the seam between the two pieces of DSP because I don't like that sometimes they don't match up, don't fold it properly, etc. And we just go like that. And so now we have a, a basic easy card that can, again can be used with any mix of um, 
colors and depending upon what's in the DSP. Uh, I forgot to mention that this is soft succulent, the base. So that makes it easy. And now we'll take our flowers. And for our flowers, I just used a mini dimensional on the back of each. Um, I could have used regular size and just cut one down for the little one. Actually, a regular one might have fit, but I happen to have the mini ones on hand. So I'm just putting one in the center of each. And then, oops, I forgot. Before I do that, I did not color the center of the flower. Again, as I said, I wanted to match the flowers or come close to it. So I am using the Mango Melody um, alcohol pen marker. And I'm just coloring the center of it. Quick and easy, nothing fancy. There we go. So now our flowers more closely coordinate with the ones that are on the DSP. And so I'm just taking off the backing and I'm just giving a little scattering of the three flowers. You could put them together. You could put them on top of each other. I just thought, boy, this just makes such a quick and fun, easy card just like that. And a finishing touch, you know, I always want to have a little bling, but also in that, um, in that same suite that you can find the two stamp sets and the punch uh, are these adhesive backed milky dots and they come in four colors and I always like to have some on here. Um, and I'm going to use the white ones just because I always find that white White will work no matter what you're working with. Okay, and so I used one big one and two little ones. Uh, and here we go. That is the quick card for today. So again, it's using the Petal Park bundle that comes with the stamp set and the punch, a couple little extras and uh, it will be available come January. So um, that is the quick class for today. Don't forget that tomorrow, December 15th only, we have free shipping on orders of 15, uh, $75 or more. If you need any help with that, let me know. And if you want to be uh, apprised of all my classes, please feel free to go to my blog and sign up for my email uh, newsletter. Um, my blog is brendamillersu.com. So uh, it was nice to see you today. Thank you all for joining me. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And until next time, um, have a great week. Take care. Thanks, Carol. I'm glad you liked it. Bye-bye. <laughs>